All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Fade to Drive and Fade to Drive Vlogs, day number 1143. And of course, Happy New Year, Happy 2021. Everybody leave a comment saying Happy 2021, because Lord knows we needed a new year. Adios, 2020. You haven't been kind to us. So... If you're a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should be subscribed to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. Give it a quick tap. I'll give you a second to do that. And hit that little bell to the right and set it to all so that you get an update every time I make a new video or a live stream. And of course, let's get 100 likes down below. Comment 111 if you hit the like, 222 if you haven't yet. And if you'd like to follow along, there should be a link in the description. Big shout out to Brian Middleton for sharing this. <clears throat> there we go. So let's jump on into it. So Grubhub drivers say that app changes, uh, app change eats into tips, jeopardizing a usual generous season. A recent tweak to the food delivery app Grubhub that changes the way customers are prompted to tip delivery drivers has frustrated many workers who say the change discourages tipping and is slashing their potential earnings. Popular food delivery apps typically allow customers to tip drivers a percentage of their meals cost with the default tip often ranging from 10% to 25%. Grubhub switched from the model December 16th when the Chicago company rolled out new fees for customers in California to help cover the costs of driver benefits granted by voters in the state last month. The app now defaults to zero or no tip. A new message also atop the prompt saying customers may leave an optional tip on top of driver benefits. Drivers said the change is costing them and offsetting any gains from the newly added benefits. On Christmas Eve, <clears throat> Los Angeles driver Audrey Wilson, of uh, 55 years old, crisscrossed the city delivering meals, earning $1 or so on most orders. She said, a $10 tip from a resident of a palatial home just off Mulholland Drive was one of her biggest that night. Wilson had recently uh, restarted driving for the service after a, month, a month-long break. Because of the change in tip policy, she said she plans to switch to a competitor, the food delivery platform DoorDash big surprise i was digging the work i got to make my own hours wilson said but now it's rare to get a tip over a dollar it's unbelievable she estimates she now makes 30 percent to 50 percent less daily than she did months before grubhub spokeswoman katie norris said that california drivers for the platform are making 20 percent higher pay per order including tips since proposition 22 came into effect and that app users can still choose to leave a tip for their driver Proposition 22, bankrolled by Uber, Lyft, and other gig economy companies, one gig um, companies, one gig companies, a carve out uh, from a state labor law that would have required them to classify their workers as employees and offer a full slate of benefits, also known as Assembly Bill 5, AB 5. Uh, as a concession to workers, the ballot measure outlined some new benefits, including a minimum earnings guarantee and a health care stipend, stipend for drivers who clock in a, uh, in a certain number of hours on the road. Let me just make sure everybody's still with me. If you're still with me, say, yes, Pete, we're with you. Just a friendly like reminder. Hit that like button down below if you haven't yet. Let's see. <clears throat> Ride hailing and food delivery platforms have since added fees to cover the cost of the new benefits. Grubhub added a flat fee of $1.50 per customer order. $1.50. The company's uh, marketing language draws a link between the new fee and suggested tipping practices. In support of California's Prop 22, this payment helps guarantee minimum wage and health care benefits for our drivers so they don't have to depend on the tips, reads a note on the app under an information tab explaining the new driver benefits fee. Rival DoorDash slightly increased service fees for some California orders to fund new driver benefits, said DoorDash spokesperson Taylor Bennett. <clears throat> the company is also considering changes to some promotions such as DashPass, a subscription service that offers unlimited deliveries for a fee that may also affect the price for some customers. Uber spokesman Davis White uh, said additional fees for customers of the ride-hailing giant will vary depending on the city. For example, since December 14th, each Uber Eats food delivery order has risen by 99 cents in Los Angeles and $2 in San Francisco. 
the company has has also tacked fees of 75 cents in Los Angeles and 30 cents in San Francisco onto rides with the additional charge rising to $1.50 in more sparsely populated areas. So as you know, we're still reading this here. Everybody in the chat or in the comments put what state and what market you work in. And <clears throat> have you noticed any of these changes? Uh, gig, gig economy companies have largely struggled to turn a profit first as startups and increasingly as publicly traded companies. Proposition 22 saved them the cost of overhauling their approach to labor in California, which is a huge market. Grubhub remains one of the few that had become profitable, and yet this year the company lost money, even during the pandemic when food delivery became a more common habit because of restaurant dining restrictions. In June, European food delivery service Just Eat Takeaway agreed to buy Grubhub for $7.3 billion, a deal that will give it a foothold in the U.S. Grubhub's changed uh, tipping prompt is a competitive move in the arms race of food delivery in which pricing is key to gaining more customer share, said Dan Ives, an analyst at investment firm Wedbush Securities. I, like, I, I'm just laughing right now because it's just like this blows my mind how unnecessarily dramatic this has to be. You know, I, I mean, does this go on that much longer? Because I don't want to I don't want to keep you guys here too long. If you guys want to finish this article, I'll leave the link down below. But basically, the point they're trying to make is that due to Proposition 22, the tips are lower, but the fees are higher. So here, I, let me just give my, my, my thoughts on this, okay? I, I have always thought that the customers need to cough up a little bit more money. Food delivery, especially through an app, is a luxury, okay? It's not, it's not something that, you know, it, it's not like a right. It's a, it's a luxury, okay, to have someone deliver food to your home. And the fact remains, if you're short on money, go to a supermarket. You know what I mean? If you cannot afford food delivery, then you probably should go pick up your groceries on your own or pick up food for yourself. Because the fact of the matter is this. We are using our own vehicles, it's our, it's our gas, it's our car, it's our wear and tear, it's our oil changes, it's our tires, brakes, all that stuff. We pay for it, not them, not these companies. But where I think it's stupid is why does Grubhub need to be the one to say, eh, don't leave it, we're encouraging you don't leave a tip because we're charging you higher. Uh-uh, uh-uh. OK, this is maybe if this was years ago. Now, everybody and their mother knows about DoorDash, Uber Eats or Grubhub. They definitely at least know about DoorDash. OK, so at this point, there's no reason to discourage the tipping because you're char charging a higher fee. Sorry, that's a bunch of crap. OK, you guys can fight me all day long. I'm here advocating for you guys. I want to actually see you guys get more money in your pocket. OK, so I like the fact that there's a higher fee that the, the customers are required to pay in order for the transaction to take place. And if that actually goes into the driver's pocket, damn straight, I'm all for it. But to discourage the tipping, why is it Grubhub's place to do that? Let the customer decide that. They're like, don't sway them. You know, <clears throat> years ago, I was, I was basically forced into a car sales position. Okay, I'll, I'll tell the story another time. One of the jobs I hated the most. OK, I just did not like to deal with people like that and confrontations and lying to people. It's not my thing. OK, I can't do that. But I remember when, uh, you know, we had to learn sales techniques. And I remember one of the finance guys says, if you're trying to push a car that's on the lot, OK, you never, ever, ever want to say, oh, yeah, uh, that's the last one. It's beige. But you don't like that. Right. Don't put a negative thought in the person's head. Let them make that decision it, instead of saying, oh, yeah, but you don't like that color, right? Because you're immediately telling them, no, they don't want to do it. They don't want to buy that. It's just like, oh, you're, you're in luck. We got one in beige or, or whatever. That's the nicest color there. We got still one left. That's a beauty. You know what I mean? So Grubhub's doing the same crap. They're like, yeah, we charged you more, but you don't you don't really have to tip. You know, that's optional. You don't you, really, you shouldn't give them nothing. Instead, it's like. Our drivers work very hard. If you would like to give them an additional tip, this is your opportunity. You know, like it sounds different. So Grubhub, change that. Change it. It's crap. Don't do that. <laughs> like why, 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 you know, don't do it.
period. I, I don't know. I feel like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm being ridiculous, but I'm not at the same time. Grub up. Take care of your drivers, okay? You're, you're, you're making good strides by upping the fees, but don't discourage the tipping, for crying out loud. So, guys, let me know down below. What do you think? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with it? I, I think the higher fee is better if it benefits the driver, as it should, but don't discourage the tipping. That's my thoughts. I want to say thank you to all of our patrons ringing in the new year here on uh, patreon.com slash pay to drive, especially Miller Norton, our ultimate driver at a hundred bucks per month. Kimberly Thomas, Tulsa Todd, Heidi Barnes, uh, Kurt Paul, Brian Pomeroy, William Boudreau, Justin Case, Sarah Keston, Alan G. Van Horn, Scott Freisner, Drew Hanor, Katie Coppin, Stephen Neely, Destiny Rudolph, Dave Chin, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Sherry Cassidy, Terry DeLong, Anthony Bliss, Nick G, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, and Terrence Pacheco. Thank you to all of you. If you guys want to sign up, support the channel, get some shout outs. Links down below or in the pinned top comment. And of course, guys, please make sure you are saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. Comment 333 if you're on there. 444 if you're not. It's a brand new year. If you haven't, if you kept putting it off, now's the time to sign up. It's free. Everybody wins. All you got to do is download the link for free uh, or the app for free uh, down below. Pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you will get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. The link's in the description down below. Make sure to sign up. And of course, check out paytodrivestore.com. Stuff's still on sale. Go check it out. Get yourself a t-shirt or a hoodie. And that is that. So, Happy New Year once again. I think it's going to be much better than last year. Good riddance 2020. Everybody comment, good riddance 2020. And comment, and end 204 if you made it to the end. And of course, subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that like and get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. And Grubhub, stop discouraging people to tip. You need us.